Uh, regarding ozonation, uh, ozone may be uh, used uh, for drinking water uh, for many reasons. Uh, it could be in order to reduce uh, odor or it could be in order to reduce the amount of iron or manganese or sulfur. But ozone is also a strong reactant uh, also to many rubber materials such as uh, nitrile and SPR. And for this reason, uh, AVK chose many years ago to use only uh, EPDM for drinking water applications, as uh, EPDM is uh, totally resistant towards ozone. Uh, looking at uh, nitrile and SPI, you may see uh, cracks on the surface uh, in the presence of ozone, and those cracks will eventually lead to corrosion of the metal core because they will continue until the metal core is fully exposed to the drinking water. Gas applications uh, requires approval of the rubber material in accordance with the European standard EN 682. This standard is about uh, testing uh, the rubber material in various uh, hydrocarbons and testing swelling conditions and so forth. For drinking water applications, uh, there are a high number of different national approvals such as uh, NSF 61 for United States, WRAS uh, for United Kingdom, ACS for France and uh, KTW and W270 for Germany. AVK uh, developed and introduced uh, EUW70, the rubber material for the global water applications uh, a few years ago. Uh, this compound holds all those uh, national approvals and uh, a lot of others too. Uh, and one of the uh, challenges or the scopes was to uh, meet the German uh, standard W270. This standard is about the uh, formation of biofilm on the uh, surface of uh, the rubber material when it is uh, exposed to drinking water. Biofilm in, it, in itself is not a hazardous problem, it is not toxic or anything, but in the event of uh, dangerous bacteria, uh, coliform bacteria is introduced into the drinking water system, it may be trapped in the biofilm if this is uh, too thick, and that would then cause a health issue. W270 is about uh, reducing and controlling the amount of biofilm. You are not allowed to have uh, zero biofilm because that is an, an indicator of uh, a toxic material and that is obviously not allowed uh, concerning the, uh, the public health. Uh, but you also have to meet a certain uh, maximum limit according to W270.